Do me a favor, will you? Try to imagine the first time you went camping. Maybe you went with your parents. Maybe it happened on a class field trip with your schoolmates. Regardless, try to picture, or remember, what it felt like as the day was coming to an end. The sun has set, but there's still some light outside. Let's say you were lying down, trying to rest for a bit. What's the first thing you remember seeing when looking up? If you're anything like me, it was probably the overwhelming number of stars twinkling right before you. These stars, most of which you can see without any fancy devices, are part of the Milky Way. Believe it or not, our amazing galaxy is almost as old as the universe itself. Age aside, it's also a pretty nice place to be. The Milky Way is like a cosmic nursery where new stars are born. And let me tell you, it's home to some of the most fascinating places, at least from what we can see in pictures. Take the Mystic Mountain, an area in the Carina Nebula. Here, things are always splashing and full of energy. That's because of gas columns collapsing and creating crazy opposing jets that are thrown around like acrobats in a circus. It's like a signature move for stars being born, you know? And if you take a look at this awesome picture, you'll see the elements putting on a colorful show. Blue represents oxygen, green is for hydrogen and nitrogen, and red is the sizzling sulfur. Ready for our next stop on our ride through the Milky Way? Check out these huge twisted clouds of interstellar dust and gas hanging out in the center of M16, also known as the Eagle Nebula. We've got ourselves the super cool Pillars of Creation, which are like towering columns where brand new stars like to hide and chill. Now, I know this ain't the first time the Hubble telescopes captured this epic sight, but trust me, this is the most mind-blowingly detailed image yet. The pillars are getting showered with crazy hot ultraviolet light from a bunch of young stars hanging just outside the frame. These stellar superstars are actually causing the towers of dust and gas to gradually get worn away by their gusty winds. Brace yourself for the numbers, too. These pillars of creation stretch out for about four to five light years. Yeah, it sounds big, but in the grand scheme of things, they're kind of like the cute little siblings of the larger Eagle Nebula, which spans a whopping 70 by 55 light years. The nebula was first spotted back in 1745 by an awesome Swiss astronomer, and it's about 7,000 light years away from our humble abode in the constellation Serpents. Here's the quirky part, though. As productive as it might sound, the Milky Way's star-forming activity is quite rare when compared to other galaxies. Astronomers have noticed that the pace at which stars are being born is actually dropping, and they're itching to figure out why. But before we can dive into this weird phenomenon, let's look at how stars come into existence in the first place. It's hard for us to know for sure from down here. What we can gather about a star's life cycle comes from looking at those within our local Milky Way. Stars are formed in colder clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. These areas are pretty common throughout most galaxies. These nebulae have low temperatures that are crucial for hydrogen gas to stick together. As the clump gathers more gas, it causes movement, which itself creates energy. When more gas collides with the already formed clump, all that energy transforms into heat. This keeps going until the temperature grows considerably, sparking the birth of a star. The most secure time of a star's life is also known as its main sequence. I'll spare you the chemistry lesson, but during this time, the star produces both heat and radiation. It's because of the radiation that there's pressure around a star, and it's also the reason for most of the light found in a certain galaxy. Now let's talk star sizes. The bigger the star, the faster it consumes its fuel. These massive stars shine the brightest, emitting high energy UV light. On the other hand, lower mass brighties live longer, despite not being as shiny as their larger siblings. 
There's a variety of star sizes in most galaxies we're able to see from down here. Some stars are 0.1% the size of the Sun, while others have 10 times its mass. Once a star finishes up its fuel, it welcomes its grand finale and transforms into a faded star. Stars about the same size as the Sun or smaller can no longer produce radiation at this stage. Gravity takes over, causing their matter to settle into a white dwarf. For bigger stars, the timeline changes a bit. They too collapse, but there's a lot more stuff burning, and it's also hotter in there. This collapse creates a stronger core. When all of the star's insides are done for, the outer layers collapse in a jiffy. It bounces off the core at nearly the speed of light. It's an impressive, explosive event called a supernova. The blown out material becomes the basis for future stars. It also leaves behind a black hole. Now that we know a bit about a star's life, let's try to look at each generation, if you'd like. Stars don't just pop up constantly at the same rate. Currently, the universe is manufacturing only about one-ninth the number of stars compared to its star-forming glory days, which happened roughly 10 billion years ago. One study gave us a peek on the history of star forming. In writing it, two scientists teamed up to gather a ton of data about galaxies. They sorted these galaxies based on how far away they were. By doing this, they could track how the brightness of galaxies has changed over the universe's lifetime. Since stars give off most of a galaxy's light, they could use that brightness to figure out how many stars were forming using some fancy math. Their findings confirmed that star formation was pretty wimpy when the universe was young. But as gas started to gather in galaxies, boom! Star formation skyrocketed until about 10 to 11 billion years ago when it hit its peak. After that, star formation took a nosedive. In today's observable universe, it's dropped a lot. That means around 50% of the stars we see today were born in the first 5 billion years post Big Bang. A mere quarter formed in the last 6 billion years. So what's causing this cosmic shift? Well, scientists think it's all about that cold gas that stars need when they're born. When galaxies form, the gas gets concentrated inside, leading to a star formation extravaganza. But then, the gas is used up quickly as stars doze off. When supernovae come into play, they blast away that much needed gas for future star making. Not to mention it also changes the chemistry of that gas. This crucial piece of information could be a starting point for the star-making decline we see today. Scientists are still not sure why this gas becomes useless. Galaxies are also pretty complex to begin with. There are all sorts of forces involved in maintaining their balance. For instance, when a supernova goes boom, the shock waves can sometimes cause turbulence and clumping of the gas, sparking the birth of new stars. But if the supernova is too wild, it can blast that same gas right out of the galaxy. With no gas left in the area, there's little to no chance a new star could form. Now, what does the future hold? Some scientists can't help but wonder what might happen if no new stars pop up. The universe might be simply filled with black holes and fading stars. Solar systems would become inhospitable as their stars lose power and those ravenous black holes might munch on whatever material is left. As gloomy as it seems, you do have to admit it's a mind-boggling concept. Luckily, we don't have to worry about it happening anytime soon. The universe is a whopping 13.7 billion years old, but the dark era isn't expected to kick in until somewhere way further in the future. But hey, this is just one possible outcome of the decline in star formation. Who knows what other wacky possibilities the universe holds? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.